Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel at Secret International. Today I am making a video for you people to make you aware about what's happening in the current immigration departments or current uh, situations of the students who are being deported. What is the reason behind them and how you, sh uh, you can stop yourself from being in these situations. So if you are new to this channel, simply subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. And if you like this video, do hit the like button. So let's not waste the time and start the video. Talking about the deported student, like we have heard many news in the previous days that uh, students are being deported from Canada and other countries as well. So uh, I'm going to tell you like why they are being uh, deported. Unka kya unke reason hai? Uh, why they are being deported? Kya cause hai jinki wajah se wo aise situation mein uh, fall kar gaye jinki wajah se wo deport ho rahe right to baat karte hain first cause jab bhi koi student apni application like visa ke liye apply karta hai to usme uske dwara kafi uh, like documents sath mein attach kiye jate hain theek hai jaise ki IELTS ka document ho gaya aapke academics ho gaye aapke funds ka ho gaya and all that okay तो बात करते हैं सबसे पहले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट जो किसी भी कंट्री में अगर आप अप्लाई कर रहे हो बट वो डॉक्यूमेंट आपकी प्रोफाइल के साथ लगेगा ही लगेगा एंड दैट इज योर फंड्स इदर इट इज योर स्टेटमेंट योर बैंक बैलेंस सर्टिफिकेट और एफडी और एनीथिंग एल्स व्हाट एवर इज शोइंग दैट यू हैव द फंड्स इन योर अकाउंट सो मेनी पीपल यूज डिफरेंट मेथड्स टू प्रूव दीस एविडेंस ऑफ फंड्स uh, but I suggest you not to use any fake document in these things like uh, some other party third party is providing funds for you and something like that I would suggest that you can show your funds and uh, because if you are uh, going getting the funds from third party you never know like it, it's gonna be like uh, a good thing it's, it's gonna be a real or will it work in the embassy so I suggest that you should uh, use the funds of your only and if you are getting the funds from third party as well it should be uh, like that person to whom you can rely okay so this is the first thing because if you have got the uh, visa by applying this document you will enter that country you will be studying there you will be working there but you never know that where you will fall in a situation where you have to show the same documents to the officials in that country so uh, I would suggest that uh, at that moment if uh, they find it to be uh, like untrue the like fake documents then it will be very bad for you because you, you have been there and you went there by spending a big amount of money and paying a big amount of tuition fees to the colleges or the university and spending big amount of time and hard work there and after that <coughs> It will be very bad if you come back to your country after spending these precious time of your life. And I would suggest that uh, not to do these things like using the fake documents. Either it's related to your funds or it's your IELTS certificates, it's your academic certificates or any other certificate. I would suggest you to be stay uh, honest with your profiles and uh, not to use the fake documents because like suppose Yes, yes, someone ABC person has applied to the visa to the Canada and has given some of the fake documents and fortunately he got a visa and he traveled to the Canada. <clears throat> what has happened in recent scenarios? There was a person who went from India to the Canada and he was studying in Canada. Okay, so there was like kind of arguments or something else with the uh, some person over there and uh, he has to uh, like he has to appear in the court there he was not able to speak in english so the judge who was uh, the person who was judging there and uh, he thought like you are you are being a student and they know that whosoever can, coming to their country for studies uh, he has proof of their language efficiency so what they found is that person that student was having eight band of scores in aisles and he was not able to speak English in front of judge. So at that moment, uh, the inquiry opened about the students and uh, along with that person, many other students got deported. So like if you're using the fake documents, it's definitely at the moment or at some time 
or let uh, sometime later after that will definitely uh, you have to pay for that and i would suggest aap koi bhi fake document na lagaye kisi bhi type ka ho chahe wo chhota sa bhi document ho aapke knowledge mein usko na use kare use whatever you have like being honest to the profile being honest to the embassies jo bhi document aap laga rahe ho wo real ho aur it doesn't matter ki agar aapki profile weak hai you have to justify for that fake document lagana is not a, like good thing आप अपने इसको जस्टिफाई करें अगर कोई वीक है प्रोफाइल उसको आप इम्प्रूव करें दे आर मैनी पीपल जो आपको असिस्ट करेंगे इसमें बहुत सारी कंसल्टेंसी है इफ़ यू नीड आर हेल्प वी विल आल्सो हेल्प यू आउट इन दिस थिंग अगर आपकी प्रोफाइल में कोई भी वीकनेस है यू कैन सेंड योर डॉक्यूमेंट्स टू आर व्हाट्सएप नंबर मैंशन ओवर हेयर वी विल हेल्प यू आउट वी विल डू अ टीम विल डू द फ्री असेसमेंट ऑफ दिस थिंग्स एंड विल try our best to help you out okay so this was all about the video if you like this video do hit the like button and if you are new to this channel and want more videos like this do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so thank you for watching this video stay fit and stay healthy